Hi, this is Keith Trim from SoundOffFairBay.com. I'm here at the Blue Valley with Ryan Bailey, uh, Service Coordinator, and we're, we've done this video before, but we're going to do an update on what's um, going on now with the, the new economy. So, Ryan, what's going on? Um, well, like we've talked before, things are just not good, and you see it in the news, you see it all over of, of all these big companies and things that are closing and all these bad economic times that we're in, and I think... It seems like here maybe we were a little bit behind the times because now it's really I'm really starting to see it when when the news of the recession and all this stuff first came out I didn't really notice it as much but here lately um, it's really been bad and we have a lot of people who have been working really hard for a lot of years at factories and other places that have been laid off and have have nothing I mean for an example we had a gentleman in here today a younger boy who basically had the clothes on his back um, he had a few little bits and things like that but nothing nothing to speak of and um, no money I mean he just lost his job he's waiting for unemployment who knows how long that'll be he doesn't have any food um, he got kicked out of where he was living because he lost his job the reason he could stay where he was is because he had a job and he was paying his friends rent now he doesn't have that and um, the problem is is that he doesn't have any savings it's hard to save when you're making six seven dollars an hour I mean even saving twenty dollars a month that's only two hundred forty dollars in a year it doesn't get you very far so we're talking about people literally having to start all over and if you think about that you're starting with you know if, if you're renting rent rent deposit utility deposit um, gas deposit and then not to mention all, all your food and all the other little things that you don't think about you and I go to the store and pick up um, some some laundry detergent for seven dollars well some people seven dollars I mean laundry detergent is a luxury and I have it's amazing. It is an eye opener to me that some people literally cannot afford laundry detergent or, you know, soap for their body or shampoo and they have to make do. I mean, there are people who use dish soap to wash their body. And that is a really big eye opener. And a lot of these people are not the people who are sitting at home, you know, as some people would say, abusing the system. These are people who have worked, who have generally been out there trying to do things and trying to work and people who have worked who have been in the workforce for 30 years that all of a sudden are empty find have nothing i know I have, I have a good friend who just lost his job at rinkies mm -hmm. um and he's on unemployment right now um so what can they do down here what do you have well we have food we have emergency food um we often refer people also to the courthouse health and human services to get more um long term and more more services than we can give but we do have emergency food um, we can help with rent and utilities one time in an emergency situation but our funding has been cut also so we don't have a lot of money to give I mean what money we give is really um, we really pour over it and we really work with these people to make sure that our money is going to be is going to help them as best it can you know we don't want to pay a month's rent and the next month they're going to be evicted you know we want to make sure that these people are going to be able to stay in their home um, keep their utilities on, keep their rent, you know, keep in their house. And so that's why it's tough. Um, we also have household stuff, clothing, shampoo, soap, toilet paper, that kind of thing. So what could the people who are watching this video do to help? Well, I, I hate to sound like a broken record, and sometimes I feel, I feel like people see me and think, oh, great, what's she going to ask for now? But really, I mean, this center here, where we are right now, is 100%. Um, funded by donations. Without donations, we are nothing here. So any kind of donation, and, and some people are comfortable giving cash, and that's fine. We need toilet paper, soap, shampoo, laundry detergent, clothing, household items, things that you might just throw away, like an old set of dishes, we can use that. Um, you know, anything that you would use in your house that you could use for your family, we will use. Food is obviously something, and you know, anything that you would feed your family, we need. We don't just need the canned food and green beans and pork and beans. We need macaroni and cheese and cereal and pasta, things that, that can make an easy meal, but that's filling and nutritious. Okay, you have two offices, right? Hebron and here? Yes, I work here and in Hebron, yes. Okay, so um, where are we located right now here? We are at the corner of 5th and G. Um, 624 Fifth Street is our address, and we have our our building is clearly marked. We have a big sign by the front door and a ramp that goes up to the door. Um, we're here Monday through Thursday, nine to four. Um, if somebody needs something outside of those hours, or if you have a big donation or something that you can't, you work till five and you can't get here till later, call me and we'll set up a time to meet so that you can get it here, and um, and we'll take it. Because I know that some sometimes our hours aren't easy for everybody. Sure. Well, I would say thanks, Ryan, for this little interview, and if you possibly can donate or have a food drive, uh, this is the place to bring it, 
And once again, thanks for tuning in to SoundOffFairbury.com. Thank you. SoundOffFairbury.com.